Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Caregiver Coffee. I'm Denise, and you all know my co-host Jen. Hi everyone. This is our last episode before 2014, so we would like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy, healthy new year. Um, this has been an awesome year for Easier Living. Um, it's been a growing year, it's, we're still a new company, so it's been a great opportunity for us this year to get to know all of our customers and our loyal viewers. Denise has gotten to know a lot of you, you know, through the customer service process, um, and I've gotten to know a lot of you through Facebook and Twitter, and it's really been our pleasure to get to know you, and this video series was made so that we could communicate with you better and help you in any way we can um, through tips and product demonstrations. So this has really been um, a learning experience Definitely. for us, and it's it's been a great opportunity to get to know all of you. So we thank you so much for watching our videos and for welcoming us into your families and all of your caregiving processes. Definitely, and you know we have a great time doing it. We really do. Yes, it's a blast. <laughs> um, so it is still December of 2013, so we just want to remind you that all orders placed um, before December 31st that are over $75 will get free standard shipping. Um, and for those of you that may be concerned that you missed the standard shipping deadline um, on the 13th to guarantee shipping for the 24th, don't worry. Um, you can call customer service. You'll speak with Denise, um, and she can work out how we can get your package to you at the lowest cost um, and make sure that it's there for the holidays. Um, there are some restrictions and limitations, so just give Denise a call at customer service or if you want to shoot her an email at customer service at easierliving.com. Um, Denise will be glad to help you absolutely. make sure that those gifts get there in time. Definitely, absolutely. And um, one of the things we want to talk about this week are how to stay healthy during the holiday season. Yes. It's definitely a very busy time for everybody and it's very easy to get run down and to catch strep throat or bronchitis. <laughs> Which is why Caregiver Coffee last week was a little delayed. We were sick as well. So these tips are definitely helpful even if you're not a caregiver. Um, but if you are a caregiver, it's so important that you stay healthy because you can only be your best and give your best when you feel your best. So we want to make sure that you know how to stay healthy during the holiday season. So the first thing we want to mention is watch out for germs. I'm not saying, you know, be a germaphobe or anything, but <laughs> carry some hand sanitizer with you. Um, yes. Wash your hands with warm soapy water whenever possible. Um, if you do have a cold like one of us did, you know, lice all your desk down so that you can, you know, stop giving it back to yourself. Um, if you have little kids in your life, they are awesome little germ magnets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, keep them, try to get them to, you know, wash their hands once in a while too and that should help a little bit. Yeah, I mean with germs too you want to make sure any surface that you would wipe down once, wipe it down twice. During the winter there are loads of germs, you know, double everywhere. So you want to make sure, um, you know, that you take an extra precaution with that. Um, in addition to germs, you want to throw vitamins in the mix. If you're not already taking um, vitamins, you know, aside from your daily multivitamin, you want to make sure that you increase things like vitamin A, vitamin B, B12, C, and D. Those are the common deficiencies during the winter time. So during the holiday season, make sure you have that extra boost um, from a vitamin source. Definitely. And another great tip would be to, you know, keep it moving, keep the exercise going. It's a little colder out, so not everybody wants to get outside and go for a walk after dinner or after lunch. But, I mean, if you can bundle up and go for a walk, or if you have snow and you can go sledding, sledding is a great way to exercise because, you know, you got to walk up the hill every time. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'll be getting, hopefully getting some exercise <laughs> this winter with because I'm a big fan of sledding. But you just want to keep it moving and, you know. Yeah, exercise is key. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And... Physical activity also contributes, you know, to help you feel better, um, and it can increase um, happy moods. You want to make sure that you're happy during the holiday season, so physical activity and exercise is great, you know, just as, uh, as a boost to begin with. Um, another thing we want to mention is nutrition. So you want to make sure that you're eating healthy. Um, during the holiday season, we're so busy, we're running around, we're trying to do things quick. You know, we're maybe not making, you know, the healthiest decisions in terms of what we're eating. So, you know, plan ahead. Maybe, you know, put things in the freezer, cook things ahead of time, put them in the freezer, you know, make sure there are healthy options. You want to make sure that you're, you want to make sure that you're eating, you know, a decent amount of vegetables and fruit, um, especially during the holiday season. 
because you want to keep your immune system up. And there's always temptation during the holiday season with the, you know, increased amount of sweets. <laughs> and, cookies everywhere. Right. Games it's games it's everywhere. much easier, you know, to grab a cookie and run, you know, than make yourself, you know, some breakfast. So you really want to make sure you're making healthy choices when it comes to food. Definitely. I know syphilis for me, and most of my favorite fruits and vegetables are grown in the summertime, so they're just not as tasty in the winter. Mm -hmm. But you just gotta figure out something else to eat and be less picky than yeah. I am, you know, <laughs> and get it taken care of. Um, the next tip we have is make sure you sleep. Sleep is one of the yes. greatest things ever. Um, so you gotta try to do whatever you can to get your seven, eight hours of sleep every night. So, you know. Yeah, especially during the winter time. Especially. We'll make sure. You know, bundle up and. Um, another thing too is we want to make sure that people remember to stay hydrated. You know, it's very important to have the proper water intake, um, you know, throughout the entire year. But during the winter months, especially during the holiday season, you know, a lack of water and dehydration can cause things like um, dry skin, chapped lips, um, skin irritation. So you want to make sure that, you know, even those things are taken care of um, and a proper water intake will keep your body at a healthy balance to begin with. So it's definitely um, a huge help during the holiday season. Definitely. And another thing along the lines of hydration, during the holiday season, a lot of people will drink a little more alcohol than they might during other times of the year because there's more parties mm -hmm. and, you know, you spice your eggnog. And... Yeah. <laughs> so you just want to make sure that you stay hydrated if you are planning on going to any festivities. You know, have a couple of, maybe a glass of water in between each drink or something like that. Just, you know, stay on top of it, don't drink too much, and definitely don't drive when you drink. Absolutely. I mean, it's the same thing with, you know, the nutrition and eating healthy. You know, there is, you know, a bunch of different drinks out there. You're going to be celebrating, like Denise said. So everything in moderation um, during the holiday moderation season. Moderation is definitely key, Jen. Yeah. So also another tip is that you want to listen to your body, tend to your needs. So if there's a body part that isn't feeling well or... You know, something doesn't seem right, you know, take a step back and see what's going on. You may not be able to visit your doctor during the holiday season, but maybe, you know, make a list of things that you need to do the first of the year because you don't want to let things drag on and you don't want to hurt yourself any more um, or injure yourself any more than you already have. So if you can't see your doctor right away, make sure that that's a priority for the first of the year. Definitely. And our last tip for today is to relax. It's the holidays. You know, take your time, enjoy the time with your family, sit back. Put, a, you know, put your jammies on and watch a nice movie on the couch. Just take it easy. Don't overdo yeah. it. Just enjoy. Absolutely. And if you're feeling stressed, you really need to focus on relaxing. You know, take 10 minutes, you know, to take a deep breath. Just meditate. Sit in silence. Um, the holidays can be really busy, and when you're caregiving, you're under a lot of stress. We talked about that the last couple episodes. Definitely. You know, how to make your life easier so that you can help someone else. So you need to be relaxed. So definitely... Meditate, relax, sit in silence if you have to, you know, spend time with the people you care about because that's what the holiday season is all about. Absolutely. So, what do we have for products this week? I know we're trying to feature, you know, one or two products every week, you know, that are beneficial for, you know, our caregivers and for the for their loved ones. So, what do we have going on this week? Um, well, this week what we're kind of focusing on is a couple of items. They're smaller items. Um, that will double as, you know, stuff that maybe your loved one who needs caregiving um, might have around the house that you could also use for a little bit of exercise. So we, we have the two over-the-door pulley, shoulder pulleys that we have. So you would just hook this over the door, the frame of your door, and then, so that's up there, and then you just pull it, and it's good for range of motion for your shoulders, and can help with your posture as well. And then... It comes in two different styles. This one is a web that goes over the door, and you just close it in the door. Um, the other one, which we, I, we actually use more often here in the yes. office, is these exercise balls. Um, we actually use them when we're sitting at our desks as opposed to a regular desk chair. What it does mm -hmm. is it forces po proper posture. It keeps you continuously working on your core muscles. Yes. And, I mean, when you have these at your house, maybe sit on and watch a half hour of TV, watch one of your TV shows. Or, you know, there's a whole bunch of different exercises that come with them. There's a, when you buy one of these balls, they um, come with a, a chart, and the chart has different ways to do different exercises as well. Um, it's an inexpensive way to get a whole bunch of different exercises, like total body. There's so many things you can do with these. And if you're caregiving for someone, you know, that's rehabbing from surgery, or maybe uses these for a physical therapy technique, you know, if you're, you know, short on time and short, you know, you're on a budget, you know, these are awesome 
activities for exercise and for physical therapy. Definitely. So, you know, try to make the most out of all of your home health care supplies. Definitely. Well, Jen, on behalf of everybody here at Easier Living, again, we'd like to wish you a very happy, healthy new year. And why are we here? To, to simplify, simplify caregiving. caregiving.